officially back to getting my entire afro in the screen first world problem and then also suddenly the lawn maintenance people came and they're doing their thing so you may hear that i apologize hopefully it's not too loud but this is the time i have to film so in today's video i'm going to share with you the products that i am using all fall long and these are beauty products skincare hair makeup those categories if you saw my last one it's not that i'm getting rid of all of those products no way no how i'm replacing ones that i ran out of and I'm just kind of switching things up in my own stash and then I bought a few things. So if you saw my last empties video, you know I ran out of facial cleanser. And so I reached for the La Roche-Posay Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. I've used this before. It's dermatologist recommended. And so I picked it up even though the packaging was different. And I've been using it and I do think they have changed the formula because it's a little looser. I did enjoy the pump packaging better. And I don't know. We'll see. Like... My skin seems to be okay with it, but it's not as cleansing as it used to be in my opinion. Um, but I'm gonna use it up because I bought it, but I don't think I'm gonna repurchase this. I'll go back to my IS Clinical when I run out of this. So in the way of makeup, I, when it's cooler, like to move to a radiant primer. I have combination oily skin, but in these cooler, less humid climates, it's not terrible. So I like to add a little radiance, plus with the foundation I'm using, which I switched to, I don't like to look matte, too matte. I like a little life in my face. And so I'm using the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. I already have this in my stash. I don't know when I'm gonna run out of this, but I love it. Um, she sells something that's a little similar to it now. She doesn't sell this exact product anymore, but this primer is great because I have combination oily skin, but it doesn't make my skin look too shiny. It doesn't get all oily. I mean, it's just a gem. And so I'll try to find something similar for you all. And like I said, this works well with my foundation. So for fall, I'm moving back to my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. And you guys can probably tell there's a distinct difference between the look of this foundation and my tinted moisturizer. Just this, even with a few pimples I have, it makes my skin look flawless and just alive. And I don't use like even a full pump of this on my skin. I don't use it everywhere, but it evens out my skin tone. The color match is great, and it's just, mm, it's worth every single penny, in my opinion. By a black-owned brand, too, baby. And then continuing to switch things up for fall, I was using cream blush in summer because it just got really hot, and that tends to stay better. But now that fall is rolling back around, I have gone back to my powder blushes, and Minted Cosmetics does it for me. I mean, just everyday shadow choices. People shy away from this pink, but I'm wearing this pink right now. And I love to just put it on my lips um, and put a little gloss over it or just put it on my lips for like a beautiful flush on a lip and cheek. I put it on the high points of my cheek. But these blushes, every single one has the perfect color tone, um, color range for brown skin. And you know, for us, by us. I really, really love these and I'm so happy to pull them, rotate them back in my stash. And then speaking of minted, I am also using the Everyday Eyeshadow Palette. This now comes in like smaller packaging. <laughs> this is huge packaging. Um, but I love this palette. What I tend to do is put my bronzer on my eyelids and then just use one of these colors for the crease and one kind of like a transition between my um, brow to my uh, lid. Um, but if like I want to do something fall tones like these are so good these are fall tones that go with every one of my lip color choices and the formula is really nice uh it, you get a whole lot of product a whole lot of product for your buck and like i said when it's black owned right the shadows are all workable on my skin tone instead of having a palette that has you know mostly shades that work for me and a few that don't all of these work they all appear darker on my skin than they do what you see here on the screen or even in the palette. So even this shade right here is a great transition shade for me, but it looks like pretty bright in the palette. So if you do want to get this, I say go to Ulta and like swatch it on yourself. So you can kind of see the colors for yourself, but it's perfect for fall. It's got some shimmer, mostly mattes. <laughs> this palette is everything. This will definitely be a good travel palette for me as I travel as well. And then speaking of lip color, I'm back to vamping it up. Right now I have on like my everyday vamp color. This is Minted Cosmetics Foxy Brown. It's a brick red, a true brick red, right? So it has brown undertones 
it has red in there and so even though it's vampy it's very very wearable that's what i love about minted cosmetics lipsticks like these are my year-round nudes that are wearable or just neutrals that are wearable and so this is the one i'm for, turning to for fall to wear like every day and then if i want to tone it up a notch i have a couple of colors from um julia's place this one is drama queen it's really dark and beautiful the beautiful shade of purple and i have a berry shade that's on the way i ordered a bit ago i haven't received it yet but these two are like my vampy purple they're still very wearable uh, but they're more bold choices right for like going out at night for brunch not necessarily for work uh these are these are they and then dose of colors has this brown this chocolate wasted it has like a reddish undertone but it's darker than foxy brown it's true like 90s vamp and i love this one i want to make a statement instead of like a red lip which is what i tend to do in the winter this is what i do to make a statement um in the fall it's perfect with everything <laughs> to me it's a brown color so it just complements my skin and I do enjoy Dose of Colors formula for liquid lipstick. So this is one that could stick around if I want to go out at night. I mean, I have more galas than I want to have this month coming up. And so this is what I wear on my lips, basically. I will be doing a lookbook soon, hair, makeup, clothing all together. And so I'll show you these in that lookbook. If you're on my Instagram, you might see these bit before that, though. Swatched on my face. And last but not least, we have hair. So with hair, I mostly just rotate my products, but there are a few things that I will be using consistently in the fall. First is the She Scented Okra Hair Repair Retentive Mask. I'll be using this once a month. It's a strengthening treatment. As you can see, I have hardly any left. So I probably have one more use out of it, yeah. And so I'm happy to finally be using this up, but also sad because this is such a good strengthening treatment. I mean, the way my curls pop when I use this is in Sane. my hair absolutely adores this and it's interesting it's one of those masks that has keratin in it but leaves the hair feeling incredibly moisturized and the curls is really nourished when you use it it's definitely worth every single penny i didn't buy this one xavier sent this to me which i'm grateful for but i'll buy it this next go around and then the other thing i'm using um, and when i run out of the she sent it i'll keep using it i'm using this audio beauty set i've been using this entire blue tansy set I should be able to do a review of it in speed reviews um, for you guys, but if you're a member, you, you get to see my full thoughts on it, but yeah, channel member I should say, join the channel, join us below, but all of these I've been trying, and this is the conditioner, it's got strengthening ingredients that I will use once the hair repair mask runs out, but other than these two like hair care collections, I'll pretty much just be using what I'm one contractually obligated to do through ads you know brand deals and then also just whatever i want to use i know that i want to do a wash and go like not this week but another wash and go and i know what i want to use right now and just kind of just using my stash that's basically the headspace i'm in i am like this close to being out of my um eco sleigh which is terrible but about to use that up as well and otherwise i'm just using you know my hair products as my hair responds with the afro it's like effortless so there's not a lot i need to use and that's all the things guys it's everything i'll be using in fall the products i've kind of switched up it's not a lot it's just doing a good switch up mostly makeup um, and clothing hair too right i i tend to wear the afro around this time there's no rhyme or reason this is just when i started wearing it and this is when i really love like my hair doesn't shrink as much in the fall and i think that's why and also like I've been wearing my hair defined a lot in the summer and in the fall I just want to like let it be I think that's what it is someone asked me but anyways <laughs> that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it in the comments let me know if you've used any of this stuff if you'd like to purchase any of it or let me know what products you're switching up for fall I'd really like to know otherwise be on the lookout next week for the lookbook I'll show you how I'm styling my hair how I'm using my lip colors and some outfits as well and if you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe before you go so we can see each other in the next one. Loving how you wind up for me. Tonight is all on me. My shop, the place for me. Yeah, yeah. She just want to highlight. Ooh, we, that body talk to me. I need a taste, baby. Loving the way. Loving the way you move around me. No more delay. 
No, you can't wait to shut it down. Want to show?